Hello my YouTube friends, how you all doing today? This is here again, welcome back. Today I'm blessed and grateful to get up, be healthy, be happy, and uh, get to do what I love to do again. Another day, another opportunity for me to go out, do what I love, and share what I do. So, today, um, I mean, actually I've been, uh, have a chance to experience this newer 2021 Honda HRV. This is the EX. Um, model tri trim level and it's come with uh, you know the Honda sensing system so what Honda sensing system is a safety feature that come with the newer vehicle uh, is come with the lane keep assist adaptive cruise control and a collision warning system so this one I want to share with you um, the Honda sensing in action and this is 2021 Honda HRV and uh, how to turn the system on so pretty much there's a main switch uh, for the cruise control uh, on the steering wheel right here so to turn it on you hit the main switch and you notice on the the cluster gauge there it turn on the ACC and LCAT system yeah press the button again it turn it off so it's off right now so to turn it on we hit the we hit the, the main switch button to turn it on so the system is on right now and uh, to activate the system we have to try the vehicle and to activate it to pretty much we hit the set button or reset or cancel so to to set the system we hit set and to cancel the system we hit cancel and this one is for the you see the the car icon with the lining to so those uh, that is adaptive cruise control the lining which mean you can adjust the distance so when I hit the it's off because the, the, the vehicle is not in motion so when we turn it on we can uh, adjust the distance with with the, this one so you see the line so the longer the, um, the line so more line has been longer distance so the less line is the the less distance and the bot the button the bottom bun is for the land keep assist system. So what land keep assist system is, uh, is keep assist you, assist the steering wheel and uh, auto correction to keep the vehicle going straight in the middle of the lane. So, but at, it doesn't have the full function of auto, like autopilot. So it will, if it doesn't send the resistance or doesn't, send your your hand is on the steering wheel it will asking for it will pop up the message of um, steering as require or steering assist require so to making sure that you are uh, pay attention to the road and uh, you still awake that's pretty much it's a safety feature so let's go to see it how it works how it in work in action so let's go do it so put a vehicle in drive. And the system only works above 25 miles per hour. So we're already above 25 per hour. So I'll hit the set button to turn on the adaptive cruise control. So right now it doesn't, um, and then you can adjust the speed by hitting the the plus button or reset plus button. So you can see the speed going up. So I set the speed at seventy. And then okay, it doesn't send any. Now it send the car in the front. That's mean it, the the car icon turns solid. Earlier when it doesn't have any car in the front, then the the icon is blank. Then to turn on the lane keep assist system, we hit the button and the two line turn on right next to the, the car icon. Then the system is on now, just let's see how it works. So my steering, my hand is off the steering and we enter the, the curvy roll and the steering is uh, keeping you know, input the steering input is uh, 
tunnel is curving in to hold, hold the vehicle going to the the curve without me inputting the uh, See, it's auto correction too. So the system will auto correct to keep uh, the vehicle in the center lane, in the middle of the lane. See, the steering wheel quiet because my hand is not, not on the steering wheel. So I have to touch the steering wheel for it to send that uh, my hand is on the steering wheel. I believe it's based on the resistance, so it, it will send if you're handed on a steering wheel or not. Making sure that you pay attention to the roll. So that's a pretty good feature. It's a safety feature. So the newer uh, system with all the updates. So it all, all keeps you in the land pretty um it's better than the compared to the older system see right now it's sensing there's uh there's no vehicle in the front so it's just on the regular cruise control and then now it's saying there's a vehicle in the front so it follow the speed of the front vehicle the vehicle in the front slower so it's slowing down for us as well So I'm passing, so I just like over override the system by pressing on the the throttle pedal or brake pedal to cancel the system. So to cancel the system, I can either tap on the brake pedal and it cancel out the system. And to um, or you hit the cancel button on the steering wheel to reset the system from to the previous setting. So you just hit the reset or go back to the previous setting. So that's how the Honda Sensing in action. Um, I want to share it with you. Hope that you like the video. If you have any question, uh, please leave me a comment and um, hope that you like the, the video enjoy the video have a wonderful day a day take care and I'll see you again next time be safe out there my friends